Hey y'all, what's up? Shannon here, of course. I did not know I was going to be able to make a dip video today. And because I've been stressed out, I'm not going to have a question for this week. Because, well, you'll find out later. Just letting you know. And after I put a dip in, I will tell you what I'm chewing. Well, dipping or whatever. It's not really dip. Because you probably could use it as chewing tobacco. So, I will show you that in a minute because I had to have my, what can I call him, my husband, crack the can for me. Not like break the seal, but like open it up a little bit so I can open it the rest of the way for this video. And I will tell you in a second why I can't open the can too by myself. I can do Copenhagen and stuff like that, but I can't open this can. I tried for like 20 minutes and I looked like a child. <laughs> it was bad. So, I'm going to put some of this in, and it might actually take me a little bit longer than a normal person, and I will tell you why in a minute. So, and I will show you why, and they're gorgeous. Um, well, I guess I can show you the lid, because I just took it off. Nope. Yeah. Hogging. I've had one dip out of this can, that was a long time ago. It's wintering. Can't flip it. So this will take me a tad bit longer than a normal person, and I apologize. And I might put a couple in. I guess I'm sweeping my floor in the morning. Here you go. Okay. The reason I look like a child opening my can chew is because my nails are done. And obviously none of you guys have any idea how bad it hurts when you get your nails like the good nails done and it like pulls the under part of your like your finger away from your nail because it has a hole of your fingernail so it hurts like hell so I got these gorgeous things done and I got a little browning head free handed on there and the other side and that browning head's better I have to chew on the fingernails but yeah, so this like shows you like the camouflage a little bit better because it's a bigger finger. And I have no clue at the moment where my jig is and I'll tell you why in a minute. So I'm spitting it out of the bottle. Me spitting out a bottle happens a lot more than it should. I'm going to do a quick dip review and I'm going to tell you about my crazy week. I don't know like how you can say anything bad about this. I did not think it would but it like has well with me it has a slight little like tingle. It's not a burn but it's like a tingle. You can tell it's there and it's just like this little doo -doo -doo. um it tastes really good. I don't, it's delicious. It's like sweet but it's not because it is the wintergreen and I love it. There's a moth flying around here so I don't know like if you guys can see it or anything but or if it's like in the camera site but I can see it and it's creeping me out. Like it's on my screen. One second. I want to kill it. I really do. But I can't. Okay. Whatever. Guess let the moth be. Okay. Back to my pretty much true review. It is good and all that good shit. I really like. I don't know how to. There's slight salt tint, no like saltiness. It's just nice. Um and yeah, so I don't know. And I give it like a six or seven. I can't chew this all the time. 
like I said, I've only had. Wow, that was creepy. I think it's because my fucking battery's dead. I plugged in the charger, but I forgot to plug it into the fucking laptop. I don't think I can do this with nails on. I don't even know where the plug in is. One second. Okay, sorry about that. I forgot. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, so it's like a six ish, seven ish. Couldn't shoot all the time. I can shoot every once in a while. But that, that's about it. Um. So. I'm going to fill you in how my week has been. Uh, Monday. Well, Sunday. We'll start a Sunday. Sunday, my fiancé had. Well, at the time, he was my fiancé. Had his bachelor party. That was fun. He came home. Well, he didn't really come home. Mine and his, pretty much, he's close to us, so he's like our brother. Brought him home. He didn't exactly get out of the vehicle, so... Somehow, he ended up on my friend's shoulder. About halfway through my front yard, he's like, put me down, put me down. And... He got inside and stuff. He chilled on the couch for a little bit, drank some water, and was like, okay enough to take his own contacts out, so... He wasn't that messed up. But then Monday was my bachelor party. Oh fuck. I got so fucked up. I ended up taking a shower later, like well, early that morning. The next morning, I guess, Tuesday morning. Because some shit happened. So I took a shower. And I chew on my teeth. And in this process, I was standing, kneeling down because I was too dizzy to stand anymore. Like, I was just chilling in the water, I guess. I laid down in my bathtub trying to get up. I busted my fucking bathtub. I think it's like fibroblast. My knee still hurts. And today, I don't know what time it is, but it's probably past 12, so today would be Saturday. I guess. I don't fucking know. Who gives a shit? the end of the week but yeah and my knee still hurts and I did that Tuesday morning at about one or three or something really fucking early I'm talking so I have to spit I'm sorry and like it was terrible my fiance came home at time fiance came home and Cleaned my house because he's lovely. He said he walked into my living room and all there was was bottles everywhere. He didn't know that four people drink that much. They can't. I can. They can't. And us put together look like a large amount. But me drinking over 75% made it. If I were to just drink the same amount as they did, it would have filled like maybe a side of my coffee table. It wouldn't have filled my coffee table, my kitchen, and all that good shit. So, yeah. So he cleaned up all those and cleaned up a little mess and then looked in the shower. We fixed it with hot glue, so it should be fine. You know, hot glue fixes shit. We have like the inside shower curtain and the outside shower curtain and stuff, so water doesn't hit where I cracked. So it, it should be fine. Um, that's it. That was Tuesday. Well, that was Monday. And then Tuesday night, my mom called me and was like, oh, you under this uh, severe thunderstorm morning. I'm like, okay, it's like nice and sunny out and looks gorgeous. Ten minutes later, the wind was fucking blowing like a motherfucker and it was raining like hell. Like, it looked like it was super foggy. That's how bad it was raining. And... My fiance was about to take my dog out and seen it was freaking downpouring and watched a limb fall out of my back tree. Nothing major, just a nice size limb. And it, was a, it looks like an old tree, so it's expected. 
We need to take it down before it breaks my shed, but it was expected that I'd probably lose a limb in that big of a storm, you know. <laughs> and then, in this process, he seen that was walking through my kitchen because in my house I have like a straight shot from the living the front door to the back door. It's just a straight. You can see through it. So he was walking. You know, about in the middle of the kitchen. Everyone's heard a tree break, right? He heard that crack. And then we heard a loud boom. And because I like storms and I like looking out windows, I was standing in my living room watching the road and watching the water and Oh, it's so pretty. Power's gonna go out sooner or later, but it's so pretty. I watched this tree fall down, take out my phone line. It didn't take it out, it dropped it to the ground. It was really loose anyway, like I don't understand how they would let it be that loose. But it took it to the ground. I was still, had Wi-Fi, everything else, internet was still going, TV, I was on Netflix, it was still going. We still had a lot of power. We had no idea what the severity of that tree falling was. Or, we just thought it was a big piece of limb that just landed in the front. And then we ended up going, oh, we ended up calling people and getting them out here. So. Then we ended up going outside because the rain calmed down. And we looked and we were like, fuck. We went upstairs, looked out our bedroom window, couldn't see out it. There were leaves there. And that's on top of my porch is my window. There's leaves on my porch. Well, a tree on my porch. We looked out the bathroom window. Couldn't see out it either. All I could see was leaves. Looked at the downstairs spare bedroom. All I could see was leaves. I have my critter room that is right there. Looked at that window. All I could see was leaves. We looked out the front window, but we could just like kind of see what was going outside because that was on my porch and had stuff over it. So there was no leaves on that one. But it ended up tearing the gutter off and breaking my fence down. Mind you, I just got this house maybe two months ago. And my neighbor's tree just fell on it. And I'm going to show you the only way I know how to describe how this tree broke. I think there was four. We'll go with four. This is the tree. And like this part of my fingers and down is like the trunk. And then my fingertips, the top past my bottom knuckle right here, is the, you know how like trees separate? The big sections. Well they were all like right in one spot. I don't know how like, whatever. You guys will understand in a minute. But this one fell on my house. This one fell on my house. This one fell on my fence. This one fell on my neighbor's house. And like, they had a whole bunch of branches coming off too, right too. So it just cracked right in this one spot and just fucking separated like a blooming flower. A terrible, disastrous blooming flower. And it like messed up their chimney and stuff and like might have broke a couple of shingles on their house. But then they had people come out and fucking take it down and it, they fucked up their house more than the tree did. So yeah. Then the day after that would have been Wednesday. We had to go do a whole bunch of shit. I don't remember what. But I had to go do shit. I don't remember what I did Wednesday. I think I had to go to a town that's like a couple minutes away and stuff and do shit there for Friday, which is today slash yesterday. Not 100% sure what today is, but yeah. So then we got home and his dad and his brother came and they started working on the tree. I swear, every time I went outside, his brother would say something just to scare the shit out of me. But one time he didn't say anything because he was slightly still in my house while his dad was tied to a rope on my roof. Through my house. Whatever. He got shit done. 
So. I was down on my front porch and they were throwing like. They're, well, they were cutting up the tree. So I had two, three chainsaws in my bedroom. A small one, a big one, and then like this long one on a stick. Like a limb cutter. So you can hold it up and cut it. But it's gas powered and all that shit. So my freaking bedroom smelled like two cycles for a while. But whatever. There's only part of a tree saw in my house. So I don't care. But I went out there. Only gutter that was not attached. Well, attacked by the storm. And that was goes along the front of my house which I love because water doesn't just pour off on my steps so people can like chill there when it's raining and everything and they don't just get drowned well I was standing out there and I watched his dad well I didn't watch his dad because he was above me on the roof but I watched him throw these freaking like big pieces of wood and shit and every single time he would toss one it would bust my gutter like hit it so hard I'm like oh my gosh I looked at my fiance at the time and I'm like dude if that gutter comes off, or if he breaks it, or fucks it up, he's buying me a new one. That's all there is to it. I was pissed. So I came back inside and was watching a movie with his mom and his sister. I went to go get my nails done that day. That's where I went. That's what I did Wednesday. I got my nails done. That's right. Okay. So that's why I couldn't help, because my nails just got done and I wasn't supposed to touch shit. So yeah, and then they ended up getting like that done and they were being quiet for a long time and they hear chainsaw, no one was on my roof anymore. I was like, what's going on? So I went out my back door because I knew the front door isn't safe because they were throwing shit off of it. So I went out my back door and walked around. My fiance kind of fixed the fence and stuff. So I walked through that and they were all just chilling over there. And then they got this big fucking part of a tree down, big limb down. And then his brother's, I, at the time, fiance's brother, was like, if you climb on the roof of the porch and stay down that corner, you can cut that tree and hopefully it won't roll on you and it should fall right off the house. I'm like, what is going on here? If anyone agrees to that, it is their goddamn fault <laughs> for listening to the retard. <laughs> He's not that retard. It's just, who would think of that? Remind you, it's fucking raining right now when they're doing all this shit. Not like raining rain, but it did rain and then it was just sprinkling, so they got back to work. So yeah, I was like, um, excuse me? I was like, I'm gonna go inside before I like freak out and like have a panic attack because someone's about to fall off my house. So now I just have like, they're laying perfectly on my house where if you cut them a certain way, it's gonna roll and break off a corner of my roof. Or it's going to fall on my porch and bust a fucking hole in it. So they're trying to figure out how to figure that out. <laughs> and then Thursday, I had rehearsal dinner for what you must ask? My wedding. So I had to go down there, set up tables, set up all this shit. I will have pictures up later, I promise. When once I get pictures, I will have them set up. I don't have any pictures. I have one picture of me on my phone, and that's it. I don't even know where my phone is. So, well, that was for the wedding, but yeah. Tristan had some subway and shit, talked, left, called again. Went out that night with my man and had some steak. Came home, passed the fuck out, woke up early. Then, da da da, I went to the church, then to get my hair done, then to the store to get this white shirt, because all I had was this orange tank top, and I something to go over it that would look okay, because I obviously forgot to grab something that morning. And stuff, and while I was at the store getting this shirt, I got a can of Skull Apple Long Cut for Apple Blender, whatever the fuck it's called, for my new husband. So, my wedding was today, beautiful camouflage dress, everything went pretty smoothly. My flower girls were adorable and all that cool shit, so I'm officially married, which is awesome. 
and this is my makeup from today and my hair from today and all that shit. Took a nap and stuff, but I laid on my belly so I didn't mess up my hair. Thought I would show it to you awesome people. That's why I looked way over, well, I look way over fucking dressed to make a dip video. Because if someone does this to make a dip video, they're weird. Just saying. Um, I don't think I ever show you guys an engagement ring, but that's that. And my wedding band and all that cool shit. Um, I guess I can show you all my hair. Right? Um, you can't really see them, but there's like little flowers and stuff. Um, obviously my part. It's over here. Beautiful part. Isn't it gorgeous? Um, I'm not gonna know how much of my hair you can see because I'm just gonna look down and hopefully you can kind of make a view of my barrel rolls. But all that gorgeousness, if you can see it. If not, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so I got married. 19. I have a house. I got married. It's cool, right? Um. This is my necklace. Um, I don't know if you can tell. But camouflage rose. It's a choker. So it was like badish. Well, it was straight, but whatever. So, yeah. I'm married. My week was terrible. So fucking terrible. Oh, I forgot to tell you I lost one of my cats. In the process of going inside and outside and inside and outside because firefighters came and stuff because there was a line down and there was a tree in the road and a tree on my house, a tree on my neighbor's house. No power, transformer blew up, four trees got wrapped in, no, two, three, three or four trees, I don't fucking know, got wrapped up in power lines down my road. Only trees fell down in my road, a couple branches on other roads, but trees fell down in my road. And yeah, and that night I lost my fiance's wedding present which was his cat which is bullshit but yeah so i guess there's a fucking question of the week do you guys like my nails there's lots of questions i want to know this shit do you guys like my fucking nails because i feel a lot of money for them and they're fucking hand painted what do you guys think about my awesome hair um Absolutely. Uh, I just care about my hair and shit. And I did my makeup and all that fun shit, but of course I did. So, yeah. That's pretty much fucking it. I really don't have much to say because I want to fucking go to bed. Because I'm fucking tired and supposedly I'm doing a lot of shit tomorrow. Family reunion. Day after my wedding. Isn't that awesome? Um finished cutting the tree down out of my yard and then possibly bowling at night time. Who fucking knows? I'll probably be asleep. But that's what my wedding party wants to do is go fucking bowling. I wanted to do it tonight but the best man had to go to work and stupid. So my fiance didn't get a well my husband now couldn't get didn't get a point and stuff and we get so many points he gets freaking slipped and all this shit and gets in trouble. So, yeah. I'm married now. My go consummate the marriage. Yeah. Who fucking knows? I don't know. I'm fucking tired. My legs hurt, so probably not today. It will happen. In like a day or two. But my fucking legs and feet and fucking shit hurt. Walking around, setting tables, doing all stupid shit. So, yeah. First time being married, it's gonna be awesome. So, my knees do not need to be hurting before process. Y'all didn't need to know that, but I don't give a shit. If you're watching this, you should be old enough to understand this video and not be like, oh my god, you're talking about this, you're talking about that, oh my god, that's so gross. Shut the fuck up, because I don't give a shit. So I'm actually going to get off here, like, subscribe, comment, all that shit. I don't fucking care, do what you want. Um, yeah. 
I'm going to bed. I need to go to bed. I'm fucking tired. I need to go to bed. So, peace out. Show you my brownie one last time. Because I love it. Bye. Have an awesome day. Have an awesome life. Have an awesome awesomeness. Just be awesome. Bye.